y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Atia today for anyone that is new here and while you're here do not forget to like share comment and subscribe but yeah y'all so I feel like it's been a while since I talked to the camera because my last video I wasn't talking I don't even remember what the video was last before that I don't know if it was me finishing up vlogmas or what I don't know but um yeah so ignore my pimple patch because we trying to figure out what's going on but um yeah i wanted to sit down and talk really quick about like how i'm planning to kind of evolve my channel um going into the new year and so basically i kind of wanna let me zoom in child okay so i kind of want to switch more to lifestyle type stuff mainly because that is the stuff that i tend to watch and i tend to enjoy and i feel like i thrive off of like creating that type of form of content like my last video is what i would consider like a lifestyle type vlog or a reset like um i don't know the exact word for it but basically like something that's just mentally relaxing and enjoyable to look at and to watch and to listen to so i kind of want to do that moving forward with like my channel um as far as vlogs of course i'm still going to do that but i'm not going to do it as much i'm a, of course going to do it here and there pretty much it'd be like my channel so basically my channel consists of vlogs and then that type of short form content that you all saw in my last video. Um, I feel like just the, when it comes to editing and filming and just getting everything that needs to be gotten for that type of short form content, it's so much easier and so much common for me. Like, of course, obviously it's easier to pick up, just randomly pick up a camera when um, you're vlogging or whatever but i noticed that y'all tend to like the short form content and the more aesthetic so to speak type content much 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 better than y'all like the vlogs um so that's kind of why i'm leaning even more toward it so yeah i just wanted to hop on here and say that moving forward that that's kind of what my channel will evolve into um of course i'm not going to oversaturate it again like i said it's still going to be vlogs it's still going to be house updates all that type of stuff all that stuff is still gonna come um when it's time as y'all can see in the back nothing has changed <laughs> nothing has changed um but yeah we honestly good thing honestly exciting news we plan on starting to decorate this home not decorate but add our own custom diy touches to it on the walls like this wall is so plain behind me so we plan on like i want to add either some crown molding here or do like a half um crown molding with like the long panels halfway i kind of think of like an olive green i don't i don't know and then for the guest bathroom the idea i have for the guest bathroom i want it to be so dark and moody and like loungy feeling like 
I want brass color hardware, like just deep dark tones. It's just it's gonna bring it's gonna do all the things. And then y'all know from watching the house tour that we want to redo a lot when it comes to this house. But of course, time has to permit that and a budget. Being honest, like you have to plan stuff accordingly along with other life stuff um because we're actually i don't think i mentioned this yet we're going out of the country next month um and so right now i'm trying to prepare for that y'all literally the time is getting shorter and shorter and i have not found outfits i know what i want done to my hair i book nails i just have to book my what is it lashes and my hair um but other than that, as far as outfits, that's basically the last thing. Passports are all um already cleared. Um, we got those a few years back, so we're not due for any new ones right now. Um, so passports, we got that. Um, and what else? I need to find me a nice carry-on bag, but I feel like that's something that can. It's not like a. I have to get that now type thing. I can literally find one on Amazon or just go in like a few stores and just find a real quick bag. Um, because y'all, I honestly have a fear of my luggage getting lost. So my game plan is pack a few little extra pieces like in your carry on just in case. Like, cause I, I, I'm scared. Like I was scared when we went out of town a few years back. I think we went to the Dominican Republic with like a few family members and stuff. And I was just so terrified. I'm like, if my luggage gets lost, like, I would be scared shitless. Hold on, my phone is ringing. So, yeah, yeah, like I was saying, um, I don't even know where I left off at. But I know I was mentioning something about us going out of town next month. Um, So, we're not out of town, out of the country um, next month. But, oh, that, that's what I was saying. I'm terrified of losing my luggage. So, um, but my main thing I really, really, really need to lock in on is getting outfits. And honestly, I don't even want to overdo it based on where we're going. Like, I just want simple, flowy, relaxed type looks. Of course, like a few date nights or whatever, I'm going to, you know. But as far as for the most part, I just need to. I kind of made a Pinterest board on outfits look kind of looks that i want to go for and then i'm kind of basing it around my braids i plan on getting like the boho knotless um type thing so i'm kind of basing it around that too um but yeah that's pretty much it i just wanted to hop on here to just update y'all on a few little things i don't have anything planned for the weekend last weekend it just passed what do we do um we did the whole Valentine's Day. Well, no. Valentine's Day was Wednesday. Yeah. So, last weekend, we did basically nothing. Um, Saturday, I did hair. And then that Sunday, we had a Super Bowl party. It was nothing too much. It was just a few friends literally chill vibes watching a game. Because everybody had to work the next day. So, um, it wasn't. It didn't consist of much of anything, but it was nice seeing everybody. I haven't seen a lot of those people since my birthday, and that was in October of last year. So um, it was not really, really nice to see and be around everybody again. But yeah, other than that, we have nothing planned for the weekend. So I'm pretty much chilling out. I'm going to do a little bit of editing. Um, I'm going to watch a few vlogs because I'm so behind. Um, it's just been a chaotic week, y'all. It's just been a chaotic week. But we're not going to even get into it. We're not going to even feed the negativity. So, yeah. Enough of me ranting. Duke, you want to say hi? Yep. You are so rude. You want to say hi? Y'all, he is so funny acting. But, yeah. Um, I'll check back in with y'all later if we're doing anything. Um, but yeah.
Good morning, y'all. It is eight days later, but we just came back from basically a hit workout, and that sh that it kicked my ass. It kicked my ass, but it's a start. So we got these wraps from I don't it's called North and Juice Co. They look good. This is. First time trying, so let's see. It's all smell good. Smell like a, a mayo. Let's see. It's messing. It's good. I have spinach, chicken, red peppers, avocado. I had to wash my freaking hair because first of all, I was supposed to wash it last week. Huh? That's all rude. Really. Anyway, as y'all can see, I just got the shower. So, like I was saying, um, I was supposed to have been washing my hair. Y'all know my underarms. I, considering getting a wax before we leave our trip. So I'm trying to let my hair grow because my hair growth under my armpit is like non-existent. I barely grow my hair. So I'm trying to let it grow out. But like I was saying, um, I needed to wash my hair bad. I was supposed to wash it last week and I didn't So. And I was so tired after we got back from the gym, but I was like, let me just get up and do a little bit of self-care for y'all. So I washed my hair, took a shower, get myself, get myself together. And I honestly think y'all, this time I might wear my natural curls um, because Realistically, I just haven't been putting heat to my hair because I end up putting so much heat to like the front part of my hair. So I'm not trying to do any heat at all. Um, but yeah, I put so much heat to the front of my hair when I had the sewing in. Then after that, I redid a redid my hair myself and did a quick weave, and it was I was still straightening my hair. So I'm just trying to give it a break right now. As much as I can, because like I told y'all, we're leaving next month. So, um, and if y'all not aware, I'm not talking about like leaving home. We're going on vacation, so um, I basically. I'm just trying to stay as natural as I can for the time being. Just let everything breathe. Like I took my nails off, as y'all can see. I took those off yesterday. And I've taken all the nail polish off my toes. So everything needs to just breathe. I've been doing a little cuticle oil. I'm just trying to nourish everything up before stuff gets covered again. Like my hair is going back in breathes. Um, I'm getting lashes. So I'm just trying to keep nails done toes and so like i'm trying to keep everything pretty chill and breathable for right now um and i'm just like i'm so thankful that i'm able to do a lot of stuff for myself like a lot of people don't even know 
how to do something as simple as take your own like ext nail extension curl. So I'm just I'm just grateful for that because I know nowadays like people charge it's like an extra charge if you come and your nails aren't um soaked off yet. So I was like, uh uh. I will do that myself because I don't have time <laughs> to be trying to get charged for nails, soaking off my nails. Nails nowadays are already like over a hundred dollars, so I was like, yeah, no. But so, oh, I forgot. I didn't even give you all the details about the workout. We went with well, she's our neighbor, but. She's like my friend at this point. Um, we went to this gym that she recommended and y'all, when I say it beat my body up, <laughs> like not in a bad way, it's just, I have not worked out in so long. So like my body pretty much is like in shock, like what are you doing type stuff. Um, but it was really, really good. I've been trying to get my body moving because I've been having like a few things going on. So I've been trying to do that in whichever way possible, whether that's walking or running or going to the gym like today. But let me tell you, it was basically like high intensity training, which is also known as HIIT. So imagine you run it for 60 minutes straight. Like I was done. I was done. Next time, I'm bringing a gallon of water because I wasn't prepared. When I used to work out, I didn't really even used to drink a lot of water. Like I didn't even finish it by the time we left the gym. But today, <sighs> get you anything? Water would be nice. I'm gonna put these in. Everybody was super, super nice, super sweet, super helpful. Everybody knew that train I knew, so it was cool. Then as y'all saw, we went out to get um, smoothies and some food. Just from this like little shop that's like on a street corner. Well, not on a street corner, but it's on a street, but you don't go in like you order from the outside. So we did that. And that was pretty good, so yeah. I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day. I have to wash clothes and what else? I need to run to the hair store and get a few products. Not nothing major, but that's why I was like, let me get up now because what time is it? It's already 107, so I'm just ready to try and get a move on. But yeah, so. That's pretty much it. We don't have anything planned for the rest of the weekend. I do hair tomorrow, so there's that. But other than that, nothing. And we're back to work on Monday. got from Crate and Barrel and Sephora. I really didn't get much from Crate and Barrel, but I did find these cute, cute candle holders, I guess you can call them. Um, I see them on this girl's YouTube page. She had them in her house. And I was like, these are so cute. And I just love the way that they are like oddly shaped. Like I feel like I've never seen it before. And the thing that I'm trying to go for in the loft is kind of like a 
fun, funky type, but still like mellow type bag. So I really don't even know the wording, the correct wording, but I do want to play with a little bit more color in the area. And I want to play with a little bit more texture and a little bit more shape. So I found these two, they have them in different colors, but I just went with clear because I was like, if push come to shove and I want to move these around the house, it needs to match the decor that's already in here. So I got these. And I may or may not like interchange the candles out, but I did find these candles. Let me actually open them up. So the burning time on these are like 10 hours. So I need to actually keep that sticky note. But they're basically like this charcoal brown color. I kind of didn't do black, but I kind of didn't do black, but I didn't stray far from either. So if I can get this freaking thing open, okay. So basically, you have to cut the wick, but I just want y'all to like envision no actually actually let me, let me cut the wig the wig is like all loose and vintage looking it's so cute and they fit so perfect like granted is it tall yes but for a room that's trying to give the vibe and it's trying and it's going to be sitting or being around bigger pieces it's not going to be big at all Cause if I show y'all this, hold on, I actually have one minute left on this SD card. So let me clear it and I'll be right back. Let me, let me actually like flip y'all around so y'all can see it. So this is pretty much how they look. I love the like funky little look that it has. And like I'm, like I was saying was. Like you see how this is tall, like they're pretty much the same height, just different shapes. But you see how this looks small because it's on such a big um, table or a buffet or whatever people call it. But that's basically my point. So it's like, I feel like it fits where I want it to go pretty good. I want it to go on the two um side tables that are in the loft area so i pretty much wanted to go either on either side i'm not sure what table i want to do it on yet but i do know that that's where i want it lord y'all look cricket it was just basically right now playing around with what makes the most sense so yeah and i still need to i really plan on getting that room in order because Shrey has gotten all the necessary supplies to start diying this house up so i really want to make that room into something because we sit in that room so much i want to make it more homey light being a that's the room i sit in that room every day out of the week <laughs> like up until late at night sometimes i fall asleep in there so I really want to make that room into something really nice. We don't really sit in the family room because the couch is like whitish. So we don't want to mess it up. And then to like, if me and him lay out on that couch, it's kind of like tight. Like, like I was telling people, I'll probably, I don't know if I will ever order a couch from Crate and Barrel again, based on the simple fact that I feel like that's not what I thought I ordered. Like, and the depth of it, don't get me wrong, like the color and the look of it, it's, it's okay, but it's not bad, but the depth is not there. Like I want to sit back in the couch and my feet come off the floor. Like I feel like it could use a little bit more depth to it. And then, so overall we just plan on moving that upstairs anyway, and then just investing into a sectional couch, but but right now it is what it is it's gonna have to make do but yeah i'm obsessed with these so they are different sizes one is this shorter one was 16.95 and this one was 19 and they had a one that was like 
in the middle, but I was like, I'm not getting three. But anyway, so moving along. Sephora, I have not been to Sephora in so long and I will not go to Sephora for a while since this purchase and I see why because every time I go there I spend too much money. So anyway, I got the Sol de Janeiro, um, what fragrance is this? I don't know, I don't, I'm not a Sol de Janeiro girly so I just know it's the purple one. It's the purple one um and it smells really really good um we're supposed to be going on vacation well i think what is today now i, I can officially say this month yeah we're going on vacation this month so this is coming with me i'll probably just take just this um and hopefully i can take it on the plane like hopefully it doesn't need to be sealed um because i know how like sometimes they can think stuff is other stuff when it's really not but um anyway so that's this but you know what i don't think like your luggage i don't think that they checked it i don't know because i feel like i took perfumes on our last vacation and obviously perfumes are open or people take like the pump thing so i mean obviously people take perfumes I just need to actually get on the website and see what their rules and regulations are because I don't have time. Okay, so moving right along, I got this Summer Fridays, the Jet Lag. I'm not sure. Okay, it's the Jet Lag Max. I got the smaller one. I did have the bigger one in my um, basket, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get the smaller one. The travel size one. Y'all, it is so cute. It is so cute. So, I've been... My skin has, like, been craving for a mask. So, I got that. I'm going to try that out. And I got the smaller one just to see how I like it. I don't really want to invest into something huge. And then my skin may have a reaction to it. So, I got that. And then the last two things that I got, which I cannot wait to try, is the Makeup by Mario and the Hourglass concealer so in the makeup by mario i actually got shade match which i literally was so excited to get this because i've heard so many great things i'm in the shade 20 in and i probably will be taking this with me out of town out of the country and then i also got the hourglass vanish concealer i'm in this shade maple 825 I actually got one that was closer to my skin tone because honestly, when I go out of the country, where we're going, when we go to Jamaica, we're going to Jamaica. I don't want to be putting on a whole bunch of foundations or it's going to be like hot and humid. So I just kind of want to spot correct. So I got this one that matches my shade. Eventually, I will go back and get a lighter one. But today, it was just given one or the other. Like, it was already adding up. So, I got this. If it will go back in the pack. So, yeah. I'm excited to try all of these things. And they will definitely go to use. I'm definitely going to take this mask with me tomorrow. We're supposed to be going out of town tomorrow. Um, just to do a little bit of shopping for the trip because we have not ordered a thing not one piece of clothing luckily i have a black bikini bathing suit that i'm okay with because i'm just more like a basic bathing suit type girl now like i don't have to do too much it can be kind of subtle so and i'm not looking for too much um i'm just kind of you know finding something that it's like easy, breathable, flowy, besides like the date night outfits. But during the day, I don't really want to wear nothing too heavy because again, no weather. Um, so we're supposed to go to DC tomorrow to look at some things. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got. And then I went to bed from body work to get some plugins for the outlets, ouch, for the outlets in the house. But other than that, that's it i think i'm about to take these candles and place them upstairs i cannot wait to put up my dad's art i don't even think i ever showed y'all 
the picture that he um did is how it looks so you see how like the base of her is like a chocolate brown and then the lip is like that's kind of why I went with that color candle now that I'm looking at it because I knew it was a reason I had to keep gravitating toward that candle and clearly this is it um but yeah so basically once we hang this up we we're probably going to have to DIY a frame because in person this piece of art is big so we're probably going to have to DIY a frame and I want to get this up as soon as possible I don't really want to touch it up I want to keep it antique and rugged pretty much the way it is I do want to kind of clean up the edges and maybe get some white paint and slightly touch up her face um and then touch up the brown but as far as like how the hair looks I want to keep that look and I'm just gonna deep clean it because she she's been through a lot so I'm special I kind of did a little, gave y'all a little B-roll of the, you good, of the um, hotel. But let me actually walk y'all through. So this is the front door. First of all, let me show y'all how nice, like, the front doors is the whole bed. Like, the hallway, a whole bed, like. And so when you come in, first to your right is the bathroom. This how it just the door flows together. The rest of it, I love and I love the black hardware. But this bathroom, y'all, it is so modern and simplistic, and it's just like the black hardware with the whatever you want to call this texture and it, everything is just it just gives like look at the freaking shower look at the shower and this is a big shower like let me step back so y'all can really see this is a big shower and then this is just for your towels and look at the freaking toilet like what and then you have the option like on this switch you can like dim or adjust certain lights and, like you have the this one is kind of like your makeup then it's a uh, light with the bottom that is so pretty i just like leaving it on um, and, and then to the right is the bed and then it's like this little built-in green beautiful green i don't even know what shade of green this is but i love it and then they have a freaking nespresso a whole freaking nespresso that's when i knew i have never seen a, a hotel with an espresso and then they have like your water your stuff for your coffee your tea like they have decaf they have this 
Like they even have a freaking wine opener in case you bought your own bottle. And then over here is the closet and the safe and all that stuff. And they have robes. This we already hung our coats up, but they have robes, comfy comfy robes. And then I don't know. I think this is supposed to be like a reading light, but they don't work for some weird reason. I'm not understanding why. Um, let me see. There's like a button on it, but it doesn't work. So I don't know what the issue is with that, but yeah. So that's that. And then this is the rest of the bedroom. You have your mirror. Your full body mirror. Then TV. And then like a little table. Chair. Luggage everywhere. And outside. I'm going to show y'all in the morning. Um, Because you, it really defeats the purpose of showing y'all right now. My honey. So I got. What is it? The, the tabby shoulder bag. I don't. You know what size it is? Was. I got this. The coach tabby. Wolf fit bag. They had gave you a receipt. She is so pretty. I was going for the. One in black, which well, Trey actually was surprising me, but initially we were looking for the one in black, but then we went into the store and saw this one. And I, I really have not seen anybody put this color up yet, so I feel like everybody's after black because it's like the universal. But I already have a black LV bag, and I have this black bag that y'all have seen in my vlogs. That's like a crossbody from Aldo. So this is a 26, is it inch? No, it's just a, it's just a number on the bag. Oh, it's, so it's the tabby shoulder, tabby shoulder 26 with quilting. And she is so cute. It literally looks like a Chanel bag, but it's for a fraction of the price. And she is so pretty. It's like this. Space grayish blue tone bag and it's so pretty. So I can't wait to use her. Probably gonna use her tomorrow for my content. And this was the last one, the one I was on display, so we took it. Um and she's just so pretty. And of course you can wear her like this or You can extend the strap and wear it as a cross body. And it has, it has a good enough space. I don't want to get one that was too, too big. And so all you do is the coach logo on it. And you just open it up and it's plenty of space. And this is pretty much for like your wallet area, and then the back and the front of for whatever you choose. And oh my god, I just noticed this part. And then it's the extra compartment in the front that you lift up. And you can put something in the front as well, like probably a lip gloss, charger, all that stuff. So. She's so cute and so adorable, and I can't wait to wear her. But yeah, she's that girl, and I love her. Yeah, I'll check back in with y'all tomorrow.
Target, Shirt Scams, Leggings, Amazon, Coach Bag, and whatever number, New Balance. And socks are from Target. Glasses are from Target. Let me move y'all now so y'all can see. But this is the whole fit. Alright, let's go. I just like I just like the length of it. I need it there. I don't know what happened. Oh, so what happened? Mm. 